the use of me holding on? What's the use about being faithful? What's the use of I keep on, amen, praying and fasting and keep on, amen, encouraging people? What is the use? It seems like it's not making a difference. Amen. But the Lord said tonight that your labor is not in vain. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. Amen. You don't know who came in here tonight. I know we've been dancing and shouting and giving God praise. We've been clapping our hands. Amen. And giving God praise. But you don't know who came in here at the end of their rope. You don't know who came in here with a mask on. And they came in and said, look, I'm going to church, but this is it. Amen. I'm tired of waiting on God. Amen. I'm tired of encouraging other folks. And I really need somebody to encourage me. I really need somebody to talk to me. Amen. Amen. And you look for me for a word, amen, and I'll tell you the truth, amen, I need somebody to give me a word, amen, but the Lord said that your labor, hallelujah, all of your work is not in vain, amen, all of your fasting is not in vain, all of your praying is not in vain, amen, sometimes it looks like when you pray, it looks like the situation gets worse, instead of getting better, amen, I'll just talk to this side, amen, because nobody can happen on this side, amen, sometimes when you're working for the Lord, it seems like it's a thankless job, amen, it seems like the more you work, the less you get out of it, amen, the more you work, the less you appreciate it, amen, but God said that your labor, amen, is not in vain, amen, you got to know who you're working for, first of all, God hired you, you're working for, amen, you're looking for your accolades among us, but God hired you, amen, and you got to realize that God is the one that's going to pay me, amen, you got to realize that God is the one that I want to hear him say, well done, amen, it's a good and faithful servant, well done, you've done a good job, well done, amen, in the face of adversity, you were able to hold walked away, you were standing there. Amen. And so the word of God says tonight to be steadfast. That's the first thing I want you to do is be steadfast. And we have a number of people that are bouncing from church to church, ministry to ministry, saying God sent me here and God sent me there. God want me to do this and God want me to do that. Pastor Tate, I found out when they can't take over that God sent them somewhere else. <laughs> But the word said to be steadfast. Steadfast. Stay in your place. Stay in your lane. Stay on your job. Amen. Stay with God. Stay there. If nobody says thank you, stay there. If it looks like you're not making a difference, stay there. Be steadfast. 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 Amen. And if they talk about you, amen, when I see you on Tuesday night, you'll have something else to talk about. Amen. Be steadfast. When Friday night get here, I'm not going to stay home. I'll be back on Friday night. Be steadfast. Be dependable. Be counted up. Some folks, you can't count on them for nothing. Their word don't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing to them. And so it doesn't mean anything to you. But be steadfast. Steadfast. If you say you're going to do it, do what you say. If you say you're going to be a place, be where you say you're going to be. Be steadfast. Stay right there. Don't be so easily shook up. Amen. Don't be so easily thrown off your focus. Stay there. Listen, when you be steadfast, amen, you're going to be tested. The devil is going to see if he can throw you off your mark. The devil will come and try to discourage you. But look, tell the devil, I can't be discouraged. I'm steadfast. I'm going to stay right here. The Lord said to his disciples, occupy until I come. He didn't tell us to occupy until you get discouraged. He didn't say stay there until people start talking about you. He didn't say stay there until they close up their pocketbooks and don't give you no money. Stay there. Be steadfast. Steadfast. Stay there. Be counted on. Be dependent upon. Amen. Your pastor, whether he shows up or not, you be on your job. You be on your post. You be where you're supposed to be. Be where you're supposed to be. Be steadfast. Stay there. Wait on God. You have to learn how to wait on God. Amen. This is not the kind of business where you 
gonna have to be the fastest one to win. Yeah, it's, you don't have to be the strongest one. You just gotta be able to endure. Steadfast is endurance. You gotta be able to endure to the end. You gotta do what Paul told Timothy to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. When you're a soldier in the army, it don't rain too much. Say, look, fellas, we can't fight today. It's raining. No, no. The devil don't care nothing about rain. It's snowing outside. Hey, man, we can't fight today. No, you're going to have to fight. A soldier has to fight in all kind of adversity. And I'm just amazed at football players. Hey, man, I'm not a real big sportsman, but I love the Bills. Hey, Amen. But it, it, it amazes me when they go out there and the snow be falling. They be fighting for that ball in the snow. And I said, see, Lord, that's why you didn't send me out there. You sent me in here. Because when it was snowing, I would say, I quit. I'll see y'all when we get to Miami. Uh, that's, not, that's not my calling. The other thing, amen, in order to be steadfast, you got to know your calling. Some of us don't fit because we're not walking in our calling. Be steadfast in what God has called you to do. Many of us spend most of our time trying to fit in someplace where God has not assigned us. We're trying to fit in someplace where God has not commissioned us. Because we saw somebody else do it and we saw them get accolades and we saw the people clapping their hands for you. I want to do that. And we get in there, we're just frustrated. Amen. We're at our wits end because we're out of our place. Be steadfast in your place. Steadfast in your place, not in my place, not in Pastor Tate's place, in your place. Too big to sweep the floor. I don't want to sweep the floor. Nobody gives you accolades. Nobody claps when you sweep the floor. Amen. Nobody says praise the Lord when you sweep the floor. Nobody says a thing when you shut the snow. The only time you hear anything is when you forget to do it. They say, Where, where's the person that shut us the snow? How come there's snow on the, on the steps? And nobody says thank you. But you got to understand, God is keeping a record. God is keeping a record. And after all, God is the one that's going to pay us. I'd rather he keep good records. Because he's going to pay every man according to what his work shall be. 